Hey Race Monitor fans, welcome to our video tutorial series. Over the years there have been a lot of questions that have come up about uh, what you can and can't do with race monitors. So this video series is uh, just kind of a basic overview of all of the features that are in race monitor. We're constantly developing new features and uh, new functionality for the app. Uh, so there's a lot of little things uh, in the app that a lot of people uh, haven't discovered yet. So these uh, videos are here to help uh, show you all of the unique things that the app can do. For demonstration purposes, we're going to be utilizing a Apple iPad. Uh, the app is available on multiple uh, Apple platforms, Android platforms, uh, a few others out there. Uh, so some of the look and feel of certain things will be a little bit different depending on what platform you're using. Uh, with the iPad, the larger display, it kind of changes the, the layout a little bit uh, so that you can see a little bit more information on screen. We have spent a lot of time optimizing the app to fit the devices that you're using, whether it be a, uh, a smartphone um, or a tablet or, or what have you. So we're going to start by just opening up the Race Monitor app, which is this icon here. Uh, again, it may vary a little bit in uh, appearance based on what platform you're using, uh, but basically just start by tapping on this and opening the uh, app up. And the first thing we're going to look at is the directory. So now that we've opened up the app and the uh, directory is what you see on the left hand side uh, that incorporates all of the races that are loaded into the system, you can see that there are a few different uh, categories there uh, such as uh, the followed races, current races, uh, and going to be uh, upcoming races further down. Uh, now it's important to note that the races and race series themselves actually are the ones responsible for uh, making the connection with the race monitor system and uh, making it available uh, within the system. So uh, sometimes you'll see a series that up to a week in advance, maybe more, will actually load it in and, and show that it's in there. Some of them actually don't do it until the day of the event. Some of the other things you'll see in the directory are uh, the live indicator, uh, indicated here uh, in yellow. That does indicate that uh, there is currently a connection with the race monitor system from the race's timing uh, system and that we are currently receiving data. Uh, so you, those are the races that you can actually tap on and, and start viewing data. Uh, you also may from time to time see uh, indications on the, the left, uh, such as this one here, which is the camera icon. Uh, there's also a, a speaker icon that you'll see from time to time. And those are the, the media uh, icons. So uh, the, obviously the camera is going to indicate that that race is also supplying video within the app. A uh, speaker icon indicates that a race uh, has uh, audio only uh, integrated into it. Uh, and then if there's no uh, media icon of either sort, then uh, that race is, is just timing with no additional media. Uh, at the top of the directory, you'll find a race results section where you can go in and view uh, results from all the races that are loaded into uh, the Race Monitor app. And we'll cover more on that in a later video. Then the last part in the directory at the very top is the search field, uh, which will allow you to, to search for whatever uh, race, uh, specific race that you're looking for. So, for example, we're going to plug in uh, Rotax, just type in Rotax into that search field, uh, and that you see it pulls up the uh, Rotax Max Challenge Grand Finals 2015. Uh, and so that it helps filter out if you know exactly what you're looking for. So, the next thing we're going to talk about is the menu section which if you tap on the menu icon in the upper left hand corner of the screen it will uh, slide the directory off to the right and allow you to, to see the menu on it. So we'll go ahead and, and select the menu and we're going to tap on cart racing and that's going to bring us to the carting section within the app. Um, so that will only display races that are set up as cart races within the system so you don't have to see the the oval races the road races uh, any of that kind of stuff just the carting specific races and that works with all of the 
uh, different sections in there. So for instance, if we tap on the SCCA section, it'll only display SCCA related races. Uh, we can go into oval racing and, and we can select uh, what type of oval racing you want or, or what have you. Um, so it really helps to kind of narrow down um, the, the races that you're, you're interested in uh, so that you're not filtering through hundreds of races in the master directory. You can filter down to just the types of races you want to see. Also in the menu section is uh, the settings uh, listed under other down here uh, towards the bottom. Uh, so we'll tap on that and that's going to allow you to uh, see the different settings of the app and some different information. So uh, for instance the app style there's a light theme and a dark theme. So we'll uh, select the, the light theme uh, and then we'll go back into all races and you can see that it changed the background from being a, a kind of gray, a dark gray color to uh, the white background with uh, black uh, writing on it. Um, so we can go back into settings and change it back to dark. And now we're back with the black background uh, and the white writing on it. This is really handy in, in different lighting situations. Uh, we've taken a lot of time and, and figured out that in most cases when you're out in direct sunlight, the black background is actually easier to view uh, the, the data as it comes across. Going back into the settings menu, some of the other uh, information you can see are, are things such as the uh, subscription information uh, that you have. So you can see on this one, uh, for example, it's a shared subscription. Um, and we'll talk about that more in a later video. Uh, shows what the primary device is and uh, uh, when the subscription expires. Uh, you can also remove uh, that device by uh, clicking here or tapping here on the remove device button and that will remove the, the shared subscription from that device only. Then the last thing in the settings menu is at the very bottom there you see the uh, down here it says need help, contact us. Uh, we'll get a little bit more into that in, in later uh, videos. Uh, but uh, basically if you're having any kind of issues or need to get in touch with us, uh, you can uh, tap on that and uh, it'll allow you to uh, send us an email uh, where we can uh, get back to you and, and uh, answer any questions you may have. So the final section in the menu here at the very bottom is the help section. Uh, if we tap on that, you see it'll bring over a, a little pop over um, and gives you some, some information uh, about the app and the, uh, some basic tips on connecting and that kind of stuff. Also uh, gives you the diagnostic ID, which anytime you uh, contact us through the uh, integrated uh, support system here uh, will send that device ID to us so that we can uh, verify all the information and, and see if we can uh, solve the issue that you're having. So now we're getting actually into the uh, live timing uh, and what the uh, main function of the app is. Uh, so we'll just select this race right here. Uh, and you can see that there's a, a lot of information given here on the screen. Uh, so starting with the actual competitors, you can see uh, over here on the left, uh, the position. Uh, and then next to that, you have the car number uh, and the driver's name. Uh, you may also see some additional information uh, next to the driver's name, and that would be the class that they're, they're in. Uh, this really only applies to races where there are multiple classes on the track at the same time. Uh, so you may have, uh, you know, somebody in first place that's in one class and the second place person is in a different class and, and so on and so forth. Uh, and then you've also got the laps completed uh, and the uh, uh, last lap time, um, the best lap. Uh, what lap they, they ran their best lap on and then their best lap time. And then you also have the, uh, the diff and the gap. Uh, now the diff is going to be the difference between their current running position and how far behind the leader there are. The gap is going to be the difference between uh, that person and the, uh, the competitor ahead of them. So you can see both uh, how far away they are from the leader as well as how far away they are from the next position. Now there is also a field off to the right that uh, they're not utilizing in this particular race. So let's uh, back out of this and let's pick a different race. Uh, this one looks good right here. 
so let's give this one a, a try. And uh, so what you'll see on this is off to the right. And if you're using a smaller device, you can actually swipe uh, left and right on the screen to show more information. Uh, so this is information that is uh, up to the uh, race uh, officials, uh, the, the timing officials to put into the system. Um, and you can put all kinds of different things. Uh, so on this one, it, it uh, looks like what they're putting in is, is what team they're running for. You can do all kinds of things, uh, what kind of car they're running, what their nationality is, um, just about whatever you can really think of uh, to do that. Um, so it's a good little, little tidbit to give some more information to, uh, to the system as far as uh, who the races are uh, you know, and what they're doing, who, where they're from, or, or what have you. So that's it for the first video here on the basics of Race Monitor. Uh, you can see there's a lot of information and there's, there's even more to come, so uh, stay tuned. We're going to be releasing more videos, getting into more detail. Uh, later on um, and of course as we add additional functionality and features to the app we'll come out with videos for those as well uh, so that you can keep up with all of the great new functionality uh, of the app. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.